Great leaders understand organisational context. They possess raw intellect and the ability to think strategically. Let's unpick those and let's talk about those. So they understand organisational context. Let me give you an example. So I um, moved in a role through the organisation, went to the next role up, and I had someone to come in to replace me. And there was a really good relationship network that was built at that time. And the person that came in didn't really spend time to study the organisational context, what was going well and maybe what needed tweaking and improving, because clearly there's always improvements that can be made. But because they didn't spend that time and they immediately set about changing everything, then it created probably more problems than it solved for him in his role as the leader and su subsequently for the organisation. So I then had to keep reaching down back through the organisation to try and uh, rectify these problems that were beginning to emerge. In the same way that when I joined um, Leinster, so I left the national role in England and joined Leinster, to understand um, the organisational context of Leinster, I needed to understand the history of the club, I needed to understand the people, the crowds, uh, and the supporters, how the club was built. I spent um, my first three weeks speaking to every player individually, one-to-one, -to, -one, to know them better, to understand their knowledge of the club. I spoke to former players, I spoke to the staff, because all I was trying to do was build in my mind a real picture of how this organisation worked. So that organisational context is, is really key, but also the ability to possess raw intellect and think strategically.